Hello friends, so this is the second video of uh, electrophilic aromatic substitution, this topic. So here our focus will be how we can generate different types of electrophiles in different electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions and also the groups that are already present in the benzene ring in different benzene derivatives, what will be their orientation effect and also the reactivity effect. That is the which groups are activating groups, which groups are deactivating groups. So generation of electrophiles here we have different types of uh, reaction. So this is the final product on the left hand side. This is the electrophilic species how it is generating in the middle portion and in the box you will find the actual electrophiles that are involved in the reaction and these are the corresponding name of the reaction. So when it is nitration our electrophile is NO2 plus and this is the corresponding anionic part. So normally what we do in nitration we use a mixture of HNO3 and H2SO4. So here you can see this is nitric acid molecule and it will be protonated by this H2SO4. So now we will get HSO4 minus ion okay and this OH is now protonated see. So if this bond is cleaved from this portion we will get our electrophile which is NO2 plus. So this is uh, in case of nitration. If it is bromination, the electrophile is Br plus. This is the corresponding uh, negative part, FeBr4. And normally we use uh, bromine and also the Lewis acid as catalyst, FeBr3. So what is the role of Lewis acid? It draws electron density from one of the bromine atom because Lewis acid, it can accept lone pair according to the definition of Lewis acid. So as a result, what will happen? There will be some partial positive charge generation over this bromine and finally this bond will be broken. So we will get free electrophile like this. In case of friedel cap alkylation, alkylation from the name you can understand that some alkyl group will be inserted in the benzene ring. So this is the final product. And also uh, I should say that in the previous reaction, suppose if it is chlorination, then here it will be Cl. So you can also call it as uh, in general as halogenation. Okay. In the third reaction that is alkylation, uh, some alkyl groups are attached that is after the reaction. Here uh, what we are using, we are using some alkyl halide. Though chlorine is mentioned but any alkyl halide and uh, AlCl3. Again we are using Lewis acid. So the role of Lewis acid is same as uh, we have observed in the previous case. It will draw electron density from this chlorine atom. And as a result, there will be formation of AlCl4. Actually, it will help to break the bond RCl so that you can get free electrophile. If you are not using this Lewis acid, then how we can get this free electrophile? Okay, so that is the purpose of using Lewis acid. In Friedel cap acylation, now see in the product acyl group is attached. So that is why the name is acylation. So here also we are using Lewis acid. And instead of taking alkyl halide, now we have taken acyl halide. So here this Cl will be removed, AlCl4 minus that is the negative part and our actual electrophile is RCO plus. Though there is another resonance structures possible that is uh, R, positive charge will be over carbon and oxygen is neutral. That is another resonance structure possible. So here we have seen total four reactions and uh, some more reactions also I should men mention. Bills by hack uh, formylation. So formylation means formyl group will be attached. Okay. So detail mechanism not uh, it is not present here. So you may have some problem. But actually the reagent that we use is dimethyl formamide and POCl3. This mixture. So in the reaction medium this will be produced. And after hydrolysis there will be generation of oxygen. That is first this group will be attached to the benzene ring. And there will be some further steps okay so that is why here double uh, arrow that is some several steps are there fine in mercuration agoac group is attached to the benzene ring so basically here we use agoac hole 2 and this is a negative part this is the positive part dot addition so see this is nothing but d2so4 that is the deuterated version of sulfuric acid fine so one of, suppose if you just think about H2SO4, if it is ionized, what we get? H plus HSO4 minus. In a similar way, here we will get D plus and DSO4 minus. Uh, that is the electrophile, left hand side, right hand side, the negative part. 
and for sulfonation this is SO3. So we will discuss all these not all these reactions some six major reactions probably in the next video and then you will be able to understand that what is the actual mechanism going on okay. Next the orienting not sorry not orienting effect the reactivity effect that is the groups that are already present in the benzene ring what will be their uh, activity that is whether it will help to it will help to increase the rate of the substitution or it will decrease the rate of the substitution so depending on that you can call the group as activating or deactivating so it is nothing but regulation of the rate by the ring substituent so a substituent that stabilizes a sigma complex by donating electrons either by plus i effect plus r effect or hyperconjugation any of these then obviously that will increase the rate of substitution because higher is the stability of the intermediate as we know that the transition state it, its structure resembles it, it is close to the structure of sigma complex so if somehow we can uh, decrease the energy of sigma complex that is we can stabilize the sigma complex obviously transition state also will be stabilized so this type of substituents they are known as activating groups okay and there are sub substituents uh, that destabilizes a sigma complex by withdrawing the electrons by min negative inductive effect or negative resonance effect. okay minus r or minus i so that will decrease the rate of the substitution so if i draw benzene ring suppose there is a g already present any group and you are using some electrophile now you are getting product so what is the nature of this g depending on that there are uh, we have made some table so it will help you to understand which are the groups that are activating which are the groups that are moderately activating and there are some groups weakly activating in a similar way so the left hand side table all the groups are actually activating but still there is some difference the first column that is for strongly activating groups the middle column for moderately and the last one is weekly in a similar way the right hand side table you can see all are deactivating but the difference is that first it is weakly deactivating then moderately deactivating and strongly deactivating now some doubts may appear here that NH2OH though NH2 we know that there is lone pair uh, or NR2 there is lone pair over nitrogen oxygen there is lone pair so yes it can have uh, plus R effect but still these atoms are very electronegative nitrogen and oxygen so it can also have minus I effect right but here R effect it is winning over the negative inductive effect so that is why overall effect is it is strongly activating in a similar way you can say that for FCLBRI though there is presence of lone pair uh, over them uh, that is the case but still why they are weakly deactivating so here inductive effect it is winning over resonance effect that is the minus inductive effect okay so these are some different types of effects and the, the, the table that you are seeing here we have made some different categories this is the combined effect of r effect uh, plus r effect minus i effect minus uh, plus i or plus i different types of effects are there and this is the overall combination uh, combined result okay so that is all about activating and deactivating groups next you will see the orientation so in the previous case what we have seen we have seen uh, nature of groups how they are increasing the rate of electrophilic aromatic substitution whether they are increasing the rate or decreasing the rate so that is we have seen in the previous slide in this case we will see the orientation orientation means suppose already there is some group present so here in the table you can see y is present already in the ring so depending on the nature of y whether it will lead the e plus to come at ortho position that is 2 and 6 whether it will lead to come at 4 position that is para position there is only one para position or whether it will lead to to attack at 3 and 5 that is meta position so now we are focusing on the position not on the rate in the previous case that is activating and deactivating group that is related to rate but now we are talking about orientation 
that is the incoming electrophile whether it will be attached to the carbon of the benzene ring and that carbon what is its position with respect to the already present group is it ortho meta or para that we have to see so for that here we have different resonance contributing structure for each at type of attack now if you look at the ortho attack three resonance structures are there but among them if you look at the structure a the positive charge is here which is very close to y okay but not in these two in a similar way if you look at para attack all the resonance structures only in this structure that is structure b the positive charge is just like the a structure so this resonance structure and this resonance structure you can um, say that if y is donating has some donating effect then it can stabilize this intermediate this uh, arrhenium complex fine but in case of meta attack you can you will not find any of the structure where positive charge is present at this carbon isn't it so that is why if y has some donating effect it will be ortho or uh, it will lead to ortho or para attack but if it is uh, withdrawing it has some withdrawing effect that is overall result is withdrawing effect then obviously it will lead to meta product now it may uh, that is several factors are also there depending on that you can get mixture of ortho or para uh, or mixture of meta also sometime you can also get uh, exclusively a particular uh, position where the electrophile is attacking so many things can happen now some points uh, that are important is para position is influenced by inductive effect and resonance effect now resonance effect how it is influenced that you can already see in the in this box okay but inductive effect though we know that with distance is decreases so if you compare the inductive effect at ortho position with respect to para position obviously compared to ortho at para it will be decreasing because with distance it decreases but still para position is influenced by inductive effect and resonance effect and both are polar effect now the meta position that is influenced only by inductive effect but still that is polar effect but when it is ortho it is very close to y the group y okay so obviously now the question of steric hindrance it will come so the ortho position is influenced not only by the polar effect that is the combination of inductive and resonance but also by the steric effect which is this that is a steric effect it is not applicable for meta or para position it is only applicable for ortho okay so the m by p ratio that is meta para ratio that will reflect the polar influence of the substrate so suppose in any reaction you are getting uh, a particular meta and pro para product ratio so the, uh, that is what will be the ratio obviously there will be influence of polar only not steric okay so this position that is this is para this is meta this is ortho fine but if it is ortho para ratio or ortho meta ratio obviously that will reflect both the polar effect and steric effect okay the reason is clear because ortho position is influenced by both polar effect and steric effect but meta only by uh, meta and para only by polar effect okay so that is all about the orientation and the next uh, we will see a table where we will combine both the effect that is activation whether your group is deactivating or activating and also the orienting effect if you combine both of these then what is the overall result so here we have total three columns in the first column it is ortho para orientation second column is ortho ortho para orientation but the difference is with activation it is with deactivation okay so there are some groups though they are ortho para orienting but still they are deactivating the very good examples are all the halogens okay we will when we will discuss halogenation reaction in detail then this fact will also be discussed again that is why they are para ortho para orienting but still deactivating okay so actually when ortho para orientation we are talking about their uh, resonance effect we consider and when you are talking about activity then we uh, consider the inductive effect 
that is why this this is the final result the overall effect and the last column is uh, meta orientation with deactivation okay and yet there is no such category of uh, meta orientation and activation so these are the three uh, possible categories fine orthopyra orientation under this activation deactivation and for meta orientation it is always deactivation next we will see some other uh, aromatic rings that is naphthalene undergoes electrophilic substitution preferentially at one position so first you have to know the position of the uh, naphthalene this is the one position this is the two position okay three four like that the sigma complex uh, resonance hybrid that we get from one attack there are actually seven contributing structures but among these seven only four are such where you will find one benzene ring intact okay so here you can see only four resonance structures the rest of the resonance structures that is the rest of the three you can draw by yourself why i have drawn only these four because here you can see in all these four benzene ring is intact on the left hand side okay other resonance structures also you can uh, draw like this so if you shift it then positive charge will be here so in this way you can draw the other three structures so among seven only four are such where uh, one benzene ring is intact but if it is attacked at two carbon then um, there are six resonance structures possible but among which only two have unchanged benzene ring so here it is four but here it is two so obviously as four is greater than two so that is the reason that it always undergoes substitution particularly at one position not at two position because at two position only in two resonance structures the benzene ring is intact so that is all about naphthalene uh, why will be the electrophile attack the next is for anthracene and phenanthrene so for anthracene and phenanthrene it occurs preferentially at 9 and 10 position so first we have to know for anthracene and phenanthrene what are the 9 and 10 position both are actually equivalent position this is 9 this is 10 this is 9 this is 10 okay so both are equivalent position so if it is 9 10 attack then you can see both are equivalent so i have 9 or 10 uh, here two benzene ring are intact right this is uh, sorry not in this structure in this structure this is one benzene ring this is one benzene ring and for one attack one naphthalene ring is intact in case of two attack also one naphthalene ring is intact fine this is one position this is two position so now we have to compare these three types of attack in the first case that is 9 10 there is on two benzene ring now if you consider the resonance energy resonance energy of two benzene ring it is 2 into 36 72 kilocalorie per mole which is exceeding that of one naphthalene moiety because for one naphthalene moiety it is 61 kilocalorie per mole so as this value is winning over this 61 so that is the reason 9 10 attack is always preferred compared to one attack and two attack okay so that is all about uh, the orientation where it will take place for uh, polynuclear com benzene that is aromatic compounds fine and in the next video i will start discussing the six important electrophilic aromatic substitution and the details of it probably it will take more than one video because it will not be possible to complete in a single video okay but six common uh, reactions under electrophilic aromatic substitution will be discussed in detail okay so if you find it helpful please like share and subscribe and uh, we will meet in the next video until then goodbye and thank you for your time